yes, I want to know what the verdict is. I want to know, am I pregnant? Oh my god. I almost fell. Oh my gosh. Hi guys, it's Sarah and welcome back to the Zebra Tribe. So I know y'all have been patiently awaiting to know what the verdict is with all the live pregnancy tests that I've been taking. Obviously, over the past few days, I've been taking these pregnancy tests. Started from day 7, 8, 9, 10 and yeah, I left off at 10 for you guys. You guys clearly saw and heard my response. It was pretty kind of ambiguous. It's up in the air because... The tests were all showing like a little tiny faint line. Sorry, I'm talking because baby girl's on the bed. But the tests were all showing a little tiny faint line, but there was nothing definitive. It wasn't, the, the, at the end of the day, it was all still inconclusive. And I don't know, I just didn't know what to take of them because they weren't really progressing in the way that they should. So ultimately, day 11 came, I took a test. And honestly, what I saw, it was like, basically like nothing and I try to stick with the same test because the like I said to you guys before the dollar stores test have worked for me in the past I have other tests at hand I have clear blues that I do use they are like I mean they're right here you have a whole package whole package of them you can get them at Costco for really cheap so I have those at hand, but the reality is it, it doesn't make any sense to start taking those kind of tests unless you have some kind of measure to kind of really go on. And I was seeing some things that were considered very, very faint, but I feel like if it was progressing, it should have at least gone up to be a little bit darker before I jump into like what would be considered a six, seven dollar test. So I didn't want to do that. I don't want to waste money on stuff like that, honestly. Like I was mentioning before, <laughs> Ideally, we, we should be waiting till Aunt Flo shows her face to be taking these tests. It's just that for us who are on our TTC journey, we, you know, we jump the gun. We always want to test a little bit early. And also because we make videos too, it's interesting and fun to kind of share with our community what's what. And so, you know, we test a little bit early, but it doesn't really help. Um, I, A, I don't want to waste money. It's not cost effective. And sorry, I'm going on a bit of a tangent, but I don't want to waste a lot of money. And I don't want to waste a good test. Yes, I want to know what the verdict is. I want to know, am I pregnant? Is, you know, what's going on? Anyways, jumping back to the results from what I saw. Obviously, on day 11, I saw nothing. Today's day 12. I took another one today and nothing. And this is kind of heart-wrenching, but, you know, what can I do? I feel like I'm having a chemical pregnancy. I don't know, like, it is, I like, I really don't know. I'm not certain what to believe. What the heck is that on my tummy? <laughs> Sorry, I'm so distracted. I did look up, could you still be pregnant if you have taken a bunch of tests where you got big, well, I wouldn't consider, obviously mine were not big fat positives at all because the lines were so very, very, very faint. But you can basically have like little mini positives, very, very faint lines, then, and multiple times in a row because I clearly had them three days in a row. And then a big fat negative is what I've called the other one that I saw. It was pretty blank. I'll go ahead and show it to you guys, but honestly, it's not like it's, it's not like it's gonna matter right now because you can't barely see them. I have them at hand, and in some of them you can almost see a line. But to be honest, I feel like that's ev the evap line at the end. But the proper way to test and the proper lines to consider are the ones that show up within the time frame, which is the five minute time frame. So the issue is like, yeah, could, could one still be pregnant if you've gotten negative pregnancy test? And uh, from what I've seen, the answer is possible. It still can happen. I just don't feel like it is. That's I, I just don't feel like that's what's happening in my case. I don't know. I just don't feel good about it. It's happened. And the reality is last time that I was pregnant, after my tubal reversal and I tried to get pregnant with baby girl, I had a chemical pregnancy right from the get-go. And then I, the next month I became pregnant. So that's the only thing that I can be hopeful. I can kind of hold on to and say, you know what? Like I've gone through this before. And from reading and educating myself, I'm learning that 
the ke this chemical pregnancy thing is a th thing that's very, very common. The percentages of, pre of chemical pregnancies are very high. It's just that, you know, if you don't test, if you're not like a woman who's actively TTCing and testing early, you generally don't know because, you know, the, the egg will travel and may just disperse or whatever because it's not successful and then and you'll just get your period like normal and and just think oh that's that right so that's why so many of us are not as familiar with chemical pregnancies or not even aware that it's a thing but i've educated myself a little bit and i know that it's common and though it's not nice to it's not a nice experience to think that that's what may have happened. It's not much that one can do. That's the problem with testing early, like finding out these kind of things, knowing that something may have been there and then it's suddenly not because it wasn't, you know, it, it just didn't work out. It, you know, it can be really tough for certain people. I'm okay. And I'm not saying that it makes it any, it's I'm not saying it's easy, but I'm saying that if that's the case, like I, there's not much I can do. I have to be positive about it and moving forward because stress definitely can impact your overall journey. And um, I did make a video. I did make a video updating my other channel about what's going on. And so this is almost like part two because I'm touching base on all the things that I didn't touch base on in that video. I also have a separate video that I want to talk about because I have some other... Um, I have like a little situation that I want to talk about with regards to my plans originally for TTCing and I went back and forth on this and I'm going to touch base on it in a single tin video tomorrow where um yeah I just share like where I'm at mentally both Aaron and I to be honest where we're at mentally and what our new plans are moving forward but yeah that's where I'm at right now I got a negative and as soon as I got that negative I'm just like in fact I got two negatives I got one yesterday and I got one today and as soon as I got those negatives I was like okay yeah like I basically consider myself out for the month because I'm not used to that like if I ever gotten done a test and like it was pre it was positive it was positive i do remember from last time though that like when they progress in the first couple of days it's not always steady it's kind of like you may if you took one in the morning and it's bright positive and then later on in the evening it's like faintly it could be faint because your urine could be diluted and the next day where you go ahead and test and it's just as faint as the day before so those things are normal I, that's a normal progression line i think and forgive me last night i think in the last video i stated that it takes like 24 to 48 hours but it actually takes 48 to 72 hours to actually um for your lines to progress or well, where i'm at is just kind of like uh but i think i feel more I feel better knowing the, the answer than having it kind of dangle over my head with like a question mark dangling over my head and just kind of leaving it inconclusive like am I am I not can we move forward can we move right so tomorrow is the day <laughs> tomorrow is the day before um my last day before my friend gets here hey <laughs> hey and we just want to see like is she gonna show her face I mean you know then we'll kind of know and am I gonna end up being late I don't know oh gosh yeah I'm gonna remain positive in moving forward and just you know be humbled by my, my experiences even though I don't have a fully stop <laughs> stop spitting water everywhere oh yep yeah, share yep you share good job oh mm, thank you thank you you're so kind mm, mm, thank you even though I don't have a full, um, just full awareness of what's happened, I, okay, baby, okay, thank you. Even though I don't have a full awareness of what's happened, I have to just learn to move forward. A few of you guys were saying, um, go to the doctor, go get a blood test. And if I were going to go to the doctor, I would have, I would be going after my, my cycle comes. And if I'm late or something, or, you know, my period shows up and I'm late and I'm late, that's when I'd probably go. I know in my circumstances, my situation, I have to go at soon, at, you know, soon, as soon as I feel like I am, or, you know, because... I only have the one tube, so I do want to try my best to ensure that it's intact and nothing else is going on.
we'll see what happens in the next few days and I mean <laughs> we'll see if you can really get a positive pregnancy test after having negatives I don't know but I'm not really banking on that at all I just feel like I just feel like I'm kind of out for the month but I'll update you guys on what's going on stay tuned for um, you know some other videos and also I'm kind of doing a little I want to know what you guys want to see on my channel I noticed Anything to do with the pregnancy videos, they are, you know, they are heavily watched, they are loved, but I do like to post family videos here and there. Do you guys like to see that too? Leave a comment down below and let me know what video you want to see me do next um, and what kind of topics you want to hear me talk about. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you for tuning in and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. <laughs> Much love guys. Bye.